Hi guys, this is Shivareti. Welcome to Kurjava Tutorials. In this session, I'll show you how to install Java 1.8 version on your computer. And the later part of the tutorial, I'll explain how to set up your local development workspace using the Eclipse Luna version as a IDE. So before we start our installation, you need to download this uh, download this Java uh, 1.8 um, uh, software from the Arkel website as well as the Eclipse. So I am going to show you the Arkel website where it is going to available for the download. This is the uh, this is the Arkel website where you can download the latest uh, Java uh, J JDK version from this website. So before you download, you need to accept the license uh, uh, and accept the license and terms and conditions. Then you you have an option to download the software. Here I am using the Windows 7 with a 64-bit version. Hence I am downloading this software. Okay, but if you are using other than any other operating system on your uh, on your machine, then corresponding software needs to be downloaded. Okay, so on this demo, I only I am showing you how to install JDK 1.8 on Windows 7 with 64-bit version. And later part, I am going to show you how to uh, create our local workspace using the uh, using the Eclipse IDE. Hence, download go to this Arkel uh, go to this Eclipse uh, uh, website and download this Eclipse JE Luna or Win 32 by 64 or 60 uh, 86 or 64.gif file and uh, these two softwares are required before we go ahead with the our installation and setting uh, setting up the our local workspace so I already downloaded these two softwares on my local computer and I copy here so now I am going to uh, show you the installation uh, process and step by step so um, let us follow on uh, this right click on it click uh, click on run as system administrator and uh, click yes and now it is trying to uh, extract the all the required files to process with the setup okay the window pop-up came so now click on the next by default the uh, Java installation is folder is going to be C folder with the under the program file slash Java slash JDK 1.8 0 underscore 66 if you want to change to some other location click on the change button and where you can select uh, select the required drive and then you can click OK but I am go ahead with the default in installation folder then click OK okay now next now it is trying to uh, extract all the required jar files to do the uh, Java SC development kit setup and um, it is the, the the status is going to be shown here and also uh, here uh, whenever you install JDK there is a two page process one is first it is going to install JDK and the second part of the installation is going to be JRE so once JDK installation done then the next step it is going to show you to install uh, JRE also so currently JDK installation is going on it, it, it take a while uh, based on the computer performance and um, uh, performance so let us wait be patient and let us wait for some time it is going to complete it almost seems to be completed and then it should uh, give us the pop-up for installing the JRE
okay now here is the pop up so now it is asking to install the jre so it is also uh, going to placed in c folder with the program files java j under jre 1.8.0 underscore 66 if you want to change this one to the different location click on the change button then you can select whatever the drive you want to save I am clicking cancel I am going with the default uh, installation folder and click next okay now it is it is uh, installing the JRE on your computer Once this completes, we will get a pop-up window by saying uh, Java install successfully. So uh, here you see uh, Java getting more popular. That is the reason almost 3 billion devices uh, are running on the Java. That is the crazy with the Java technology and uh, because of its uh, platform independence or the Vara, pro Vara property right ones or anyway run anywhere characteristics of java Almost finished. Okay, so JRE also installed. Now it should give us the status finished. Okay. So Java SE development kit 8 uh, update 66 successfully installed. So now we are done with the installation part. Once you've done the installation, you can verify whether Java install on your computer is properly or not by going to the command prompt. So click, uh, click on the start button, type enter CMD and you will get the command prompt. Click on it. Now you can verify the uh, Java version which it's got installed by using the command Java version. So it is going to say that um, Java version is 1.8.0 underscore 66. This is the uh, version with the uh, runtime environment. JRE is going to be the this version. Okay. And then you want to see whether compiler is also installed or not. Then you can use the command java c then it is going to give some few options mm, uh, regarding the compilation of the java so here this installed successfully and also if jre installed or not if you want to check then type java and hit enter now also it is going to give some options that means it is going to uh, that means java install on your computer successfully now second part of the installation process is now you need to set up your local environment using the IDE Eclipse. So I have already installed my, uh, I already downloaded the Eclipse and I uh, I unzip that jar file, uh, zip file, and I place this folder here. But whenever you are downloading the um, software, it comes as a zip file. Unzip the file and then go to this uh, path under that we have a eclipse folder click on that and then you will come to this uh, uh, this directory where you are going to see that eclipse application you can click double click on this um, uh, eclipse icon now it is going to give you the pop-up and uh, you need to select a workspace where these files needs to be stored that means whatever the project or the files you want to create in your java those things will be stored in a particular path 
so you need to select this path by default it is going to the c slash user slash you are at the uh, it means it is a username slash then workspace it will come if you want to give some different uh, uh, workspace location click on the browse button and it is going to show you the uh, path of uh, your drives so you can select any drive and then uh, you can set that as a your workspace directory but i am going with the default insta uh, default uh, workspace path and then click on ok now it is going to create a workspace uh, whatever the location you provided uh, here ok then it will open up a eclipse uh, uh, workspace environment most of the time why we are going to use uh, these ideas is um, it is going to simplify the develop, uh, developer effort I mean to say uh, it is going to really help the developers to develop the applications very fast simple and more efficient okay so it uh, my Eclipse got open so this is the uh, sp this is the work this is the my Eclipse workspace uh, whatever the uh, projects you are going to create here this will be placed in the uh, uh, default uh, works directory which you selected while opening the Eclipse okay so now we are working with the job uh, working with the core Java project so in order to create a core Java uh, project click on file new if you able to see Java project is fine if you are not able to see then go to the click on the others here you can select the uh, icon type java project and then click next it is going to ask ask you to create a project then uh, core java demos i'm just showing how to create a project okay and by default whatever the java you are installed it is going to be selected and then click finish now what uh, uh, Eclipse going to do is it is going to create a core Java project here now from here you can start coding your uh, Java programming so that's all about uh, the installation and setting up the um, local works workspace using the Eclipse in the next uh, uh, session we are going to see how to write the hello world program thanks for watching have a nice day.